Oh, hello friend. Today I'm documenting a recently finished project. A little sub-hobby of a hobby, a more interactive way of archiving my projects and hopefully invigorate or inspire others to make their dream armies a reality. Today we have a Luftwaffe field division, part of my unique way of building a mid-late grenadier army. I plan on doing two more squads showing their integration to the here with some mix of field gray with blue, serving either as fusiliers or Volksgrenadiers. I really want my dreams to be a, a full meme reality with a mouse. I really want a flak mouse as it fits the Luftwaffe theme perhaps a bit better, but they have no rules of bolt action that I'm aware of, and the only kits are in 172, so I might have to adjust that a tad. Sort of go on my thoughts about the conversion in a prior video, so it might be worth getting started there. My muses from there will play into this. Otherwise, let's get to the point. I primarily use Vallejo model color, so if I don't say the brand or type, it's VMC. So let's get documenting. The primer, dark neutral gray, pro acryl. Since we're going blue gray, on most of the model, this is a good start point as I try to make the primer a color that will complement the majority of the model's color. Proacryl is a pretty solid on its paints. They make paints that are pretty much match their primers 100% and they make some good quality white paint as well. Let's look at the muses for this project. I'm going to try to hit as close to these examples as possible. Base, uniform, non-covered helm, Luftwaffe uniform, World War II. Also an idea to use this combo for the bread bags and soldiers wearing camo smocks to break up the colors just a tad. Now we could do the standard black leather, but I think the brown will go better with the blue and make it stand out a little bit more. So for the ammo pouch, holster, belt, short boots, gaiters, and wood grips, German camo black brown. Camo smock or zelt bond, bedding, rifle strap, Panzerfaust, helm covers, bread bags, German camo medium brown. The guns and long boots, black. Mess tin, gas mask, can. Chem pouch on the chest of the Blitzkrieg bodies, dark black green SS. Looking good so far, but we have ways to go. This is the best time to tidy up and clean up mistakes. I usually take this time to separate the areas of the model through black lining. I'll thin down black paint to a watercolor consistency, then gently draw it onto crevices in the deepest areas where the cap and helm meets the hairline, the collars meet the shirt, belts meet the jacket, boots meet the hands, hands meet the rifle, straps meet the shirt, things like that. This helps me laser line the model for highlights. Highlight one, uniform and non-covered helms, field blue, holster, belt, short boots, leather brown, wood grips, flat brown, ammo pouch, camo smock, zeltbon, bedding, rifle strap, panzerfaust, helm covers, bread bags, gaiters, earth from Vallejo game color. Gunmetal, Tapa Canteen, Buckles, Metal Bits, Lead Belcher from Citadel. Long Boots, Dark Sea Green. Mess Tin, Gas Mat Can, Chem Pouch on the Chest of the Blitzkrieg Bodies, Military Green. I recommend dry brushing the highlights for the non-covered helm and boot it tends to make things go a bit faster. Looking even better so far. Nearly halfway there, so let's continue. Highlight 2. Uniform, non-covered helm, a 50-50 mix of field blue and pastel blue. Holster, belt, short boots, 70-30 mix of light brown, leather brown in favor of light brown. Wood grips, 50-50 mix of saddle brown and orange brown. Ammo pouch, camo smock, zeltbon, bedding, rifle strap. Panzerfaust, helm covers, bread bags, gaiters, khaki from Vallejo game color. Gunmetal, 
the top of the canteen, buckles, metal bits, light steel from Vallejo Mecca color, long boots, medium sea green, mess tin, gas mask can, chem pouch on the chest of the Blitzkrieg bodies, green gray. Now, this is a spot where we can say good enough or move on. Or we can even go deeper. So let's spice things up a few degrees. We're going to add some simple color patches on the grenadier bodies. I'm going to put the green of the Luftwaffe field division insignia using a base of dark black green SS. I'm going to freehand it in a slight trapezoid shape. Then I'm going to add one highlight of uniform green. Blitzkrieg bodies in the older uniforms, I'll go with two Luftwaffe patches. First, we will do the yellow for the aviator troops. We'll use a base of German camo medium brown. We'll freehand on a trapezoid shape. And then I'll do one highlight of green ochre. The same will be applied to the trim on the shoulder boards as well. The second will be red for the artillery or anti aircraft corps. We we'll use a base of burnt red. We'll freehand a little trapezoid shape. We we'll use one highlight of dark vermilion. The same will be applied on the trim of the shoulder boards as well. Yet again, looking good, but we have to go deeper. We're going to add some simplified woodland camo, and it really brings this home. The helmet covers, the smock, the zelt bond, the bedrolls. We'll add little sharp trapezoids of Luftwaffe camo green and German camo black brown. You don't need to add too many, just enough to feel right at this scale. I recommend looking for a real example to get the gist of the pattern. Then we will highlight each of those areas. For the green area, it'll be a 50-50 mix of Luftwaffe camo green and khaki. For the highlight, It'll be German Camo Pale Brown. After that, base for the occasion and give it a hit of Ammo Matte Lucky Varnish. And there we go. Another project down. Overall, I'm pleased. I got yet another squad off my backlog. I might need to tidy up some of the highlights on the NCO as they look most off compared to the others. This week, the Kadia Stands box is on pre-order. I'm a little hyped for that, actually. Then we will be about two weeks before that actually ships out, so I'm thinking about what project I should hit next. I do have two I was sort of juggling around. I'm going to be doing the old-style Space Marine Scouts for some Blood Ravens, and hopefully I can lock in the colors for a Battletech Black Knight in true 80s styling black armor with some interesting highlights, so we'll see how that goes. So if uh, anyone made it this far, I hope something was useful, and that's it for now.